Rashad Vayishlach. For 20 years, Yaakov is afraid of this moment when he will have to confront Esav. And the Torah does not skimp on words to describe how fearful Yaakov is. He sends Esav presents. A lot of presents. He prays. Atzilenina, atzilenina. And for the worst case scenario, he also prepares for war. On the way to the meeting with Esav, the Torah describes a strange encounter that happens at the crossing by the Abok River. At night, Yaakov takes his family and belongings and crosses the river, then goes back by himself to the other side, when suddenly, according to the story, a man appears and wrestles with him. By the end of the struggle, Yaakov understands that this is not an ordinary person, but a messenger from God. He then requests a blessing. The blessing he received is that he should change his name from Yaakov to Israel, which is also my name and your name, the nation of Israel. But what is the meaning of this strange story? Why does Yaakov stay behind by himself? Why does he change his name to Israel? And I don't get it. Why should a messenger from God struggle with him? The commentators give many answers, but I want to share with you one answer that made a huge impression on me. The Rashbam says something that if it wasn't the Rashbam who said it, I guess no one would have dared to suggest it. He says that Yaakov wanted to escape. How can you say that? It's not me, it's the Rashbam. You see, the Rashbam is onto something here because Yaakov is not great at confrontations. 20 years ago, when there was tension between him and Esav, he ran away to Haran. In Haran, when things get rough with Lavan, he takes his family in the middle of the night and runs away to Knan. You see, the Rashbam says something in Yaakov wanted to do what he did until now, run away. The angel didn't come to prevent Yaakov from going to Esav, it came to prevent Yaakov from running away. Look at the hardship in life, straighten the eyes, confront your demons. And you can overcome, you can. Because you battled an angel and you managed to overcome me. So you can definitely overcome Esav. From now on, you're not Yaakov who flees and takes the path of least resistance. You are Yisrael from the word Yashar, straight. Yisrael who confronts his problems. And this explanation went straight to my heart. You see, I know this angel personally. My last name is Jacobson. I'm the son of Yaakov. And the desire to run away from problems is very much ingrained within me. And every time I have to confront a major problem, he comes and tells me, you can do it. It's time. It's time to transform from Jacobson to Israelson.